Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing a quick postpartum recovery sequence. For this sequence you will need a chair and I do recommend that you start doing um, this sequence uh, at around six weeks postpartum after you get the clearance from your midwife or doctor. Um, you could potentially start earlier but very slowly and as long as you have no complications from birth and everything is looking good and uh, your belly is recovering well and so forth. If you had C-section, just wait. Wait until you get the clearance. Alright, so we'll begin with the most important thing. We did it all through my pregnancy series and now we're going to start doing the same thing uh, again. With the postpartum series, we're just going to do those small contractions for the belly. And um, we are going to... Uh, basically find that connection again with the uh, deep core muscles. Uh, so for uh, to begin we are going to actually I will demonstrate it. I'm about seven weeks postpartum so I'm slowly getting in the groove of things but you are slowly going to you see here there is a lost connection with the belly you're going to pull the belly first in and then the belly button up like that and you will squeeze you will feel almost like a squeeze of um, the two sides of the abdominals squeezing in together and you will hold this first for five seconds and then up to for up for uh, two, ten seconds at a time and release and again and release and again pull the belly in belly button up and release okay so next we are going to involve also a pelvic tilt so when we inhale and pull the belly in and up we're also going to tilt the tailbone slightly down so we're doing a small pelvic tilt Udiana Banda everything is lifting here and release and again and release now this is a stage at which you might want to stay for a while especially if you're you can start this at five weeks and just do this even at four weeks if you've are starting to connect the muscles here and just stay at this stage for a while and release up until you feel confident that you're starting to fire up these muscles a few more times You can help with your hands, bring the hands and pull the muscle slightly in and up. Excellent. So we're going to start working on the booty and the legs with that awareness of bringing the belly in and up during the workout. So come to the front of your mat if you're using a mat. And we're going to take a step back and a step forward, keeping the right leg bent the entire time, left leg stepping back. Let's go four to elf. One, pull the belly in. Two, pull the belly in, slight tuck. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and changing sides. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So next we are going to do cross lunge with engaging the abdominals. This one is a pretty good one. It's uh, firing up the abs and building the booty and the belly exercise. So you're going to take a back cross lunge and then you will bring your leg back and around squeezing your belly. If, uh, if at first you can only do one with the full engagement of the belly, just do one and build up slowly. Let's go for 12, eventually, two, three, four, five. I'm bringing my uh, hands here to remind you, in order to remind you, but also sometimes when you touch a muscle, it helps you connect muscle brain connection mind body connection so it helps you to fire it up four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, and opposite side, let's go, 1, balance, 2, 3, 4, 5, with a little tuck in here, so you can scoop everything in and up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good, let's come back into our breath, pull the belly in and up, really pull it up to where you're out of breath, one more, and it's work, this is hard work, just the breath itself is hard work, good, now you will go to a wall, somewhere nearby, sit back on your wall, back on the wall, press the lower back into the wall, make sure reach with your hand and there is no gap between the lower back and the wall, press it into the wall, sit a little deeper, pull the belly in and up and hold here, help with your hands in the beginning and release, and release, one more, and release. Now, if you have a gap, diastasis recti closing in still between your um, abdominal walls, those exercises will make it a little smaller uh, right after exercise because they're pulling everything in together. So over time, it you will, it will close it more permanently. Now it closes it and during the day, maybe things get looser again. Uh, let's continue with the chair. So from here, you can grab your chair, make sure it's secure, and we'll do step ups. Now skip skip any exercise, including this one, if it feels like it's too much, and come back to it once you build up to a little more strength. When you come up, you're gonna press the booty back, the leg back, and out. One. Two. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And let's take our good friend the plie squat. Sink a little deeper if you continue doing plie squat during your pregnancy. This should feel good otherwise you will have to build up to it. And let's pause here. One, two, three, four, five, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, twenty, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Lifting the heel on one side, opposite side. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm working up a sweat. <sighs> Hopefully you are too. Not too much, don't get exhausted. But if you your heartbeat goes a little up, that's that's fine. Just don't get exhausted for sure. Watch watch your body. So from here, from plie, we're just going to lift one side, not too big of a lift in the opposite. Pull the belly in and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now walking forward in plie squat and walking back. And forward. <laughs> and back all right coming out of this shake your legs inhale hands over the head reaching over to one side and over to the other to stretch hands behind your head that's for the breastfeeding moms and for the bottle feeding moms also everybody probably has some level of shoulder pain from holding the baby so bring your hands Clasping behind your head, lengthen the back of your neck here and just press the elbows back and lift, looking up, elbows pressing back, lengthening the back of the neck. Great. From here, we're going to round the back and pull the elbows in and pull the belly, same thing, in and up. Inhale. Open and look up. Great. Good old squats. Take squat stands. And let's go. One. Two. Take the tail going under. Pull the belly in. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11 12 and from here we can take our first down dog so forward bend pull the belly in bend your knees in a forward bend and let your upper body hang here wrapping the wrist around the elbows letting the upper body hang heavy shoulders relaxing back relaxing neck relaxing face muscles relaxing soften your lips soften your gaze soften the jaw let's walk the hands in front of us walk your feet back down dog pull the belly in and up Mudiana Banda activating, Mula Banda activating. Inhale the right leg up and open that hip and you can drop the foot behind you bending at the knee. Opposite side. Keep your shoulders aligned. Great, let's come on to the tippy toes, drop the knees down on the ground, scoop the belly up and this is going to be, here this is going to be hard in the beginning, your belly will just hang out and you're just going to do as much as you can in the beginning and increase the time of how long you can suck your belly in and up in this position. So let's go and we'll build up on this in uh, the future classes. This is the first postpartum. So pull it up. Optional, pull it up and take your right leg up. And let's bring the right knee behind the left and extend. Two, three, bring your right knee forward four pigeon Back on all fours, pull the belly in, take the left leg up, pull the belly in, knee behind the right knee, extend three times. It's okay, it's okay. And pigeon. coming out of this let's bring the soles of the feet together extend the right foot in front of you forward bend here left foot in the upper thigh
changing sites. Hands behind you, point the toes forward and come up reverse plank. Hold the belly in. Lower down, flex your feet, forward bend. Come up and we're going to bring the right foot either just above the knee, ankle above the knee or in half lotus and lower down. Opposite side, same thing, either half lotus or a form of pigeon hip opener. Coming back up in easy pose. Hands behind the shoulders open, or hands behind the head, shoulders back, elbows back open here. Reach side to side, side bends, elbow pointed back at you. One more time, breathe into your obliques and sides and inner organs. A mini twist, look over your shoulder on one side, over the shoulder on the other side. Good, and now we're just going to finish with a couple of belly exercises. So, you can roll onto your side still, so that you are protecting your belly as you lay back up until your core is very strong. And here you are going to extend the left leg and extend the right next to the left and bring it back in, holding the belly in. You can help with your hands. Three of those. One, two, three. Now bring your, bend your left knee to, and again, extend the right one, two, three. You can drag your uh, heel on the floor or you can keep it off the floor if you feel that it doesn't uh, interfere with your core connection. Opposite side, press your lower belly, uh, lower back down, one, two, three, extend both legs. One, two, three, bring both legs in, bend the knees, bring the knees together and rest here for a second. So also the feet together, let the knees open out. Clear out. Let's bring the hands on the out outsides of the legs and bring the knees into your chest. Happy baby, grab the outer edges of your feet, press the knees by your rib cage. Roll onto your side. Use your top hand to press yourself up to sit it. From here, come on to all fours. One more time, pull the belly in. 
You can round your back here or you can stay in neutral. Take your toes under and walk your hands back to your feet. Forward bend, let the head hang. Shake your head. Slowly come back up. And from here we are going to step onto the left leg. Bring the right leg around the left, eagle pose. Right arm forward, left arm up. Cross them, that's for relieving the shoulders from holding the baby. Changing sides. When you press your, uh, bring your hands together, press them up. Soften the back of the shoulders. Chair. Pull the belly in, take the tailbone under. Coming up, side bend, side bend, lift, hands over the heart. A quick second. Allowing ourselves to be completely present. Soaking in the moment. Namaste.